listen up. Uh, first of all, we appreciate everybody to coming out here and celebrating this joyous day for them in the midst of everything going on. You know, great things are still happening. And this is we a memory that we'll be able to cherish forever and ever. Um, before we get started, I am going to want to pray over this ceremony as we go. Amen. Father God, we come before you and we thank you for the opportunity that we get to, we get to have, Father God, to be here as witnesses, to see these two get married, Father God. We thank you for the blessing that's going to be upon them, Lord, and we thank you because your word says where two or three are gathered, you're in the presence, and we know that you are here, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. 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 Who gives this young lady in marriage today? Her mother and I. Y'all may be seated. Okay, let's go sit down. Sit down about an hour ago. As uh, members of family and friends that are here, one thing that I ask from each one of y'all, as witnesses of these two getting married today, that you remind them, that you encourage them, that you push them forward at all times. Or as like I like to say is, hey, when y'all got issues, you go in that room and you go fix it, all right? There is no uh, talking down each other. There is no, uh, man, no. We're here to encourage them because y'all were witnesses of this wedding. And you remind them, I was there when you got married. I saw the tears that came down your eyes. I saw the smile that was on your face. That you remember that every single day and every moment that you are together. I want to read this uh, passage in the Bible where it talks about love. It's found in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Mm -hmm. um, I want to read in the Kings, uh, I'm going to read in the NIV version, and then later on I'm going to go back and reiterate in the King James Version. But it says like this, If I speak in tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I am nothing but a resonging gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have faith that can move mountains, but I don't have love, I'm nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor or give my body to hardships that I may boast, but do not have love, again, I'm nothing. Love is patient with each other. Love is kind to each other. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not, dis not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It gives no record or holds no records of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects. It always trusts. It always hopes. And it always perseveres. Love never fails. Man. Apostle Paul wrote this passage, and something that I love about it that he wrote is in the King James Version, it uses the word charity. And if you go back and read, charity is like one of the highest forms of love. It is like the most selfless love. And it also represents what Jesus came and died on the cross for us. He wanted us to have a relationship with God. And it's the same form of love that he's saying to have for each other. Without holding anything. Without, without holding any wrongs to each other. And like I said, if that one of y'all's on the couch and the other one's on the bed. But you know what? You go back in that same room and you wake up to each other. The Bible tells us to not let the, uh, the sun go down on your anger. Amen. But sometimes if you need to just take away, take a, a walk, but don't walk away from each other. Hash it out. Fight it out. Argue it out. But love each other and forgive each other out of it. All right? Next, I want to ask if the ring barrier, where we at? Well, we got some rings. <clears throat> All right. These rings right here. What I love about a ring is the ring, it goes in a circle. And I want you to remember that your love is a never ending love. It doesn't stop, it keeps going. And as a matter of fact, in 10 years from now, your love for each other should be stronger than what it is right now. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? It's work. Marriage is work. People say, well, you get 50, you get 50. No, nah, how about we put a hundred and I put a hundred. <laughs> right. Uh, right. How about we do 110? How about we go the extra mile? How about we do that for each other? How about we, we, we find ways, if we need counseling, let's go to counseling. I don't care what people have to say about me. I don't care who laughs at me. If we need to run to the altar and pray, let's pray together. If we need to do it, let's do it. Find every way and every day you can to make this marriage work. 
because it is a daily, <clears throat> daily, daily thing. You're right. It is nothing that happens uh, overnight. It is nothing that happens. I, I know couples that have been married 40 years from now, and they still find a way to make it work. 45. 45. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I've always said it. God, God's not looking at who's willing to try. God's looking at who's going to make it work. Who's going to make it happen? That's how I believe a blessed marriage happens. So as you look at that ring, always remember, and as you wear it, it's a never-ending love. A ring throughout the years gets stronger and stronger and that your marriage will always be stronger and stronger at all times. So with that being said, I'm gonna ask, yep, yeah, go ahead and pull this ring out. Yeah, oh no, the new phone. Lovely hand. Do you, Jeremy, take Bryn to be your lawfully wedded wife from this day forward, to have and to hold, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do you part? I do. It's COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it's on there. Let's get it. Let's get it. Do you bring take, <laughs> take Jeremy to be your lawfully wedded husband from this day forward to heaven to hold for better for worse for richer for poor in sickness and in health to love and to cherish till death do you part. One thing I do want to say to both of y'all, as you look each other in the eyes, the years will go by. Unfortunately for us men, we may not look like the same hunk that you're about to marry right now. <laughs> <laughs> the hair might start to slowly but surely not just be shaved off but fall off. <laughs> the, <laughs> the belly might to sometimes, Tim, that when we drink water, blow up on us a little bit. <laughs> but that you may always look at them the same way you're looking at them now. And you already know when we marry our wives, they look the same all the time, beautiful. <laughs> the day we marry them. But that you may always, always look at her like the way you're looking at her now. Love her, you put a ring on it. She's yours. You take care of her now. You protect her. You guide her. You help him out. Okay. <laughs> One of the, you be each other's best cheerleaders. I mean, y'all cheer each other on, believe in each other, and know that with God, all things are possible. Amen. And with God in the center of this marriage, that this marriage will outlast, outlast any problem, any situation, any trial. But don't let me just rain on the parade. Let me talk about the great memories that y'all are gonna make, the beautiful memories, the family that y'all are gonna get to raise. Y'all are gonna be a blessed family for generations to generations. Keep God in the center of this marriage. Man. Now, one thing I'm gonna ask is, everybody that's here, if we can pray over this couple, but as we do that, I'm gonna ask you to pray over your wife. As the leader of the house, and we talked about this in him, it's not the fact that she's under your control or anything like that, but she's the fact that you are the one that prays over her. You are the one that leads this family. You are the one that gets everybody up and let's go to church, guys. Let's get it. All right? So I'm going to ask this, all of us, if we pray for them, you begin to pray for her. Father God, we come before you again, once again, thanking you, Lord, for this opportunity that you've given us to be here, Lord. I'm asking you right now, Father God, for this couple, with these witnesses that are here, that they may always encourage them, that they may always push them, that this couple may see examples even in the midst of all of us here, Father God, that have been married before, Lord, that they may say, you know what? They made it happen with God. We're going to make it happen, Lord. I'm asking you for blessings to come upon him, Father God. I'm asking for Jeremy to be a great provider, Father God, that, that you, Lord, guide him and protect him, Father God, 
that he may cheer her on when she needs it, Father God, just as well as her, that she may be able to cheer him on when they need it, Father God. I thank you, Lord, that you're going to do great things and beautiful memories will be made here, Lord. In your precious holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Listen. In so much as these two have consented together in a holy wedlock and have witnessed the, the same before God and this company, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go on, kiss your girl. Hey. <laughs>